Welcome BDC Cause. Well, guys, in 2013, in September, Hyundai produced and introduced this Grand I-10 to the world. And this one in particular is a 2019 Grand I-10, and this is a 1.0. Now, we got this brand new. Um, I was looking at 194,000 Rand for the vehicle. And with an interest rate of about 11%, and I mean, I'm just playing on averages here. You're looking at paying about 3,700 Rand if you're going to go over 72 months. Now, looking at this car, it comes standard with two airbags, comes with a multifunction steering wheel, which is lovely. Um, it comes standard with Bluetooth, comes standard with um, air conditioning, which is a great up if you look at um, what's out there in the market. You know, so right there, I'm pointing at the Bluetooth radio, it works very well. And I don't think I've ever used like aux or the USB unless like I'm charging. All right. So it's got a beautiful um, fuel range. You know, we use about 5.9 liters for every 100 um, kilometers. And there we are with the electric windows, which also come standard on the vehicle. But then what sucks is that in the back, you've got the roll up windows. All right. So now looking at this car, it's nice and spacious. Um, it's only got the one mirror for the passenger on the visor and all in all a fantastic car to drive then we've got our indicator on the fender as opposed to the new car which would then have that indicator on the mirror now looking at these two cars you know you look at the 2019 grand i10 and you would think that it's a bigger car but then you know it blew my mind because now looking at this the new Grand I-10, the 2021 moving forward, it's got a complete makeover, all right? So this car is actually two centimeters wider than its predecessor. And then also, if we look at the length, the new Grand I-10 is also um, a bit longer. So you're looking at 40 millimeters longer in terms of build. So everything has been redesigned. Um, as you can see, the differences, we've got those um, big round fogs on the Grand I-10 2019 whereas on this one they do look a bit smaller but then what's nice is that you've got the daytime running lights and what I'm pointing out here is um, you look at the indicators I'm just pointing out that ours is on the fender versus um, the new one which would then be on the mirror so now looking at the roof you know it's got a complete makeover this roof right here has got some nice slick designs. I'm not sure if it really makes any difference when it comes to aerodynamics. And then rims are optional because I've seen different ones that you can choose from and they are 14 inch. But now let's take a look inside. So this is where the big difference is. So this steering wheel is obviously different um, to the predecessor because as you've seen on the predecessor, you've got your multifunction keys on both sides of the steering wheel whereas on this one it's nice and on the one side um, different look on the steering wheel <coughs> also comes standard with um, two airbags standard with aircon and also standard with um, bluetooth but what i really love about this one is that they've changed the infotainment system you've got a 7.75 inch infotainment system and even the cluster is different so the dash is nice, it's got that digital cluster, but then the analog is still there by the rev meter. And then you've got some buttons on the side of your screen, which would then help you navigate the, the different settings for the radio. And then we take a look at this interior. So this is also um, black artificial leather, which has some red stitching and comes standard across all these vehicles. And then of course we have to discuss pricing because that is the big elephant in the room. I mean these vehicles entry level starts at 220,000 but then you know to get it spec'd out like this with the four electric windows full spec it starts at 259,000 rand. So that is a bit beefy when it comes to price but then um, would I rate that the money is worth it? I'd certainly um, recommend that you get yourself one of these, book a test drive or contact us to make a deal.